What's going on guys, Computer MD Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to uh, create a client dashboard in your Wix website. So this is effective if you have clients and you want them to have access to a special dashboard. I'm actually in the process of still building mine out for my personal clients, so this is pretty cool. You kinda get to see that back in view of what everything looks like and how it'll be, how it'll work. It's a chilly day here in St. Charles, Missouri, here at Lindenwood University, but I'm getting through it. <laughs> My Arizona skin isn't quite used to this yet. Arizona blood, I should say. But anyway, let's hop into today's video. But before we do, I just wanted to let you guys know, don't forget to check out wixmywebsite.com. Guys, I completely redesigned it, and there's another huge thing I want you to know. Um, first off, my products are not my products my services are now listed on my website so I do offer as I mentioned this before uh, full build web design partial web design a professional website review and I had a lot of people ask me if they could just schedule consulting calls with me so now you have the ability to book consulting calls with me as well um, you can go check out that services page but the one thing I really wanted to make known to you guys is that I am now uh, announcing my free Wix workshop for this upcoming Monday, uh, November 13th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you guys can come to my website here at wixmywebsite.com, go to workshops, it's about Wix code, it's a free workshop guys, so if you don't register, I'm not sure what you're doing. It's completely free. Um, you have an opportunity to learn about the new Wix code. Uh, I'm really, really insisting on people uh, showing up to the Zoom meeting um, because it'll be held over Zoom. However, if for some reason, I know there's people in other countries that you cannot get on the meeting for a legitimate reason, I will send you the copy of the recording afterwards. But other than that, guys, go sign up for that free Wix workshop. Absolutely free. I'm offering it to you guys. And then... I also want you to know I have a very, very exciting announcement coming up, and I will let you guys know more about that um, probably on Thursday. It's really exciting, guys. But let's get into today's video. So first things first, to create a client login for a client dashboard, this is what you have to do. You have to first start with creating a client login button. From this button, you guys know how to add a button here in Wix. You then need to either add a light box or a pop-up of something. I did a light box. So to add a light box, you could simply go to light boxes over here in the page manager and click add light box. I will now pull up mine um, that I'm working on. So once you get your light box, you've got it all set up. You design it how you want. And then this right here is using JotForm. So we are actually using JotForm to make this all possible. So what happens is the uh, client puts in their email and then the logic from job form uh, matches the conditions and if the conditions meet that value of the email, they will be sent to their client dashboard page where I would recommend putting a password on it so then they have to enter a personalized password either you create or that they give you based off of you know however you talk and communicate with them. Once that happens, um, they can then log into their dashboard. But to do that, you need to go into job form. Once you get into a job form account, they have free accounts. You could press create uh, create a form. I already created mine. I'll show you guys it, how I did it. So if we just go to edit form, you're simply going to come into job form and you'll go add form element. And in this case, you'll just add email because they're logging in with their email. You can see I already added. But the important part of this is you would then go to settings and then you go over here to conditions. When you get into that, you will then add a change thank you page condition. So what happens is you'll press that and then it says if here. So this is logic. So this is where you have to um, you know, focus in and make sure you get this correct. So if email states, in this case, is equal to target, you want the target to be value, this is your value. So if that email that they enter is equal to, and then you need to put your client's email in right here. So in this case, you would need to put um, whatever your client's email that they provided you. So then that way, when they type it into that login, it says, um, if this email is equal to this email, same email, um, you do this. And then you're gonna click redirect to URL after submission. And then you put in the URL of your client's dashboard. Now. That's the logic for the form. You would then go to publish 
and then you could actually click platforms and then you could type right in here Wix and it'll actually provide you the HTML code to actually put onto that page. Now let me go back to the editor here. When you're in here, you can see I added the HTML widget, which can be found by going to add, more, down here to more, and then HTML code. And then you would simply paste that code right in here, and you can see it populates just like this. You can change the design of your form in job form by going to build and clicking this form designer right there. Once you have your form built out and you have your logic built out, you obviously need a client dashboard for your client to go to. So you need to make sure you create a page. You can see I started my client dashboard and it has your client dashboard. So after they log in, you would simply they would simply be redirected to this dashboard. In here, I'm going to add things like um, uh, uploading files because I do web design so that way you could upload your files to me so that way I have them I'm gonna make sure um, everything that I need as a web designer is right here in this dashboard so that way we can use this dashboard to communicate it makes it easier on me makes it easier on the client uh, you can see I'm making payments due I just made up an amount right here um, and then I will be doing that right here now here's the thing guys you design this dashboard page exactly how you want I can't tell you how to design this. You need to tailor it to your clients, whatever you need. You just create a page that looks good that you want your client dashboard to be individually for each client. Um, what you would have to do is you would then have to, I would recommend just simply clicking these three little buttons and pressing duplicate every time you add a new client and then making sure you add that condition because you need to add a condition for each client. So um, you would do that again change thank you page add that clients email in here so that way it's met for that client as well so every time you add a new client you you add a condition and then you would come in here and do that and then I would recommend duplicating each of your clients pages the reason being is um, when you duplicate a client page uh, you would then skip a bunch of work of redesigning so then you would just simply obviously change the information for that client change the URL for that client um, but it just makes it easier for you to password protect the page when they're redirected you would simply go here click this three little buttons go to page info and then you would go to permissions and then you'd simply click password protection and then you would enter here whatever password you and your client agreed upon and then once that password is entered, they can then enter their dashboard straight through that form, just like that. So guys, that's as easy as it is to create a client dashboard here in Wix. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, drop me a like down below, comment if you have any questions at all, and subscribe to me here on Computer MDF Gilbert. In addition, guys, do not forget to go check out WixMyWebsite.com, get signed up on these weekly Wix tips, and also get signed up in RSVP for this free Wix code Wix workshop. You're not going to want to miss it. It's absolutely free. It's an hour long, 7 to 8 p.m. next Monday. Um, it, it's it's going to be awesome. Uh, we have a lot of great people on there. And then uh, a lot of great people signed up, I should say. And uh, don't forget, I also have a big announcement coming out for you guys that you're going to love to hear. Other than that, guys, thank you very much. Check out WixMyWebsite.com. Sign up for that workshop. And I will catch you on the next video. Have a great rest of your day.